Well, happy birthday to me, I guess. <laughs> what is up, my proper compadres? This is proper Jeremy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Rise of Skywalker D23 special look. Uh, I think this is different from the one that came out a few days ago because that was just like 10 seconds long. Not much really that you got there, like Ray saying like, oh, I have to do this alone. That was pretty much it. There was something with... See, I don't really quite remember because it was kind of... It was a bootleg. Like somebody just filmed it in the audience. Uh, so we got that little sneak peek. But now we got this whole other special look uh, that's like two minutes long. So, uh, yeah, let's just check it out. I mean... The only thing that I'll say going into that is, you know, if you liked The Last Jedi, that's totally fine. I personally did not like it, so I'm a little cautiously optimistic. I'm very hopeful, though, that it will be better than that. It'll be more of like, a, I can skip The Last Jedi and just go straight into this movie from The Force Awakens, because I did like that in isolation, but, you know, then again, it is what it is, but uh, without further ado... <sighs> These don't suck. Here we go. Did I press it? Oh, it was just quiet. Okay. Alright. I see where you're going with this. Like, showing all the old movies. And, like, remember this. Remember when... Remember when Luke Han and Leia were together in a scene? Remember when they... When Luke Skywalker was Luke Skywalker, when Han wasn't a deadbeat dad, Darth Vader was his father, Yoda being a badass, We've Lando. We know. Oh no. Well, that was a cool fight. A thousand generations live in you now. Same thing from the teaser trailer. Reminds me of the reminds me of the uh, Revenge of the Sith when they had a few montage of a uh, it's a montage of a uh, old trilogy in the movie that came before. Alright. Alright, there's a city of whatever that is. Leia in that green forest again. Alright, oh, okay, I guess things on the ship now. Evil, wait, is that an evil C-3PO? Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll go, get to that later. Alright. Oh. Fighting on the thing. What? 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 Did they just... They, they did it. Did they really... Let's see. Let's see that again. Wow. They really did it. They really did it. They... Woo! Darth Ray. Okay, okay. You see, it's like a like a double lightsaber thing, and then it just is a magnet thing and just does the whole Darth Maul thing. Wow. Wow. Is that actually? That's not. That's not. It, it can't be Darth Maul's lightsaber. So I don't know. How does she get to that point? How is she like? She's back on like. Uh, this, uh, the Star Killer base or something. I don't know what 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 dark forest planet that is. Seems to be like a fire or something. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know where she is, but she's in like that cloak. She looks like she's under some sort of possession. So all of these rumors about uh, about Sidious. Going around and infesting people and uh, being like infesting people's bodies and just kind of hopping along, kind of like, kind of like Voldemort was uh, in Harry Potter in that first one when Quirrell was like he had the face in the back of his head. 
Except, like, it's a little more subtle here. Uh, <laughs> but, wow, they, they're going with Darth Ray. Okay. I'm fine with that. That's, I'm cool with that. Um, at this point, at this point, you know, they, they, they already ruined, you know, like, for me, Luke was ruined in the last movie, so that, that was it, but, I don't know, at least there's a little bit of hope to make the new characters kind of interesting, I don't know, I don't know, this is probably the most interesting thing that's happened, and still, we have no Rose Tico, why is there no Rose Tico, <laughs> where is she? Um, and there was also another thing that I, that I caught a little bit ago. Um, all right, so, I don't know, uh, okay, uh, back here. All right, so, I guess all of this, all of this, uh, repurposed Leia footage is gonna be, like, her in the jungle forest thing, talking to Rey. I don't know. Uh, I don't, I don't know what Leia's supposed to be doing in this film. Or if there's anything that Luke Skywalker is gonna say besides what he had just said. And... I don't know. I'm guessing what Palpatine was saying in uh, in the narration was probably something from the film. I don't. I don't remember that from other films. I could, could be wrong about that, but you know, um, I know how JJ is like sly about these kind of things and just has this whole mystery box. Then you have uh, I don't know who that chick is, but I guess she's important. I guess I don't know. I have no interest in what's going on there, but. Um, or, like, I guess she's, like, on that other desert planet with, like, all those people, I guess. Maybe. I don't know what, I don't know what it is. But, kind of looks like uh, Burning Man, you know? Kind of looks like Burning Man. That, that's just me. Just me. Um, and, uh, you have, all, you also have this evil C-3PO with the, he went from having a red arm to red eyes. Uh... This kind of fuels that uh, those rumors that C-3PO is trying to get his old memory back, and uh, they get him mixed up with like a droid from something. Uh, I don't know. I don't know exactly, but that has been a rumor as well. So when JJ's saying he's you know trying to get elements from like all of the movies, all night, all of all the other movies, all night, <laughs> like the prequels, uh, the original. And the sequels, um, I think, <laughs> based on this, you know, because you remember in Attack of the Clones, uh, C-3PO got mixed up with the droid thing, and his head was on a droid, and his body was on the rest of another droid. Um, maybe he's just cherry-picking, if we're, if we're going based on of what I saw in The Force Awakens, which was a lot of, like, repurposed and repackaged New Hope, in a lot of ways. <laughs> um, so maybe when he says that, he means that he's cherry-picking from each of the movies, like little by little, and just throwing that into the story, throwing this into there, that into there, and seeing it all kind of come jumble and mix up. Maybe it's something like that. Maybe he's just using very all, all these familiar story points, and I'm just like, oh, this makes sense. Oh, why does this seem familiar? Because we've already seen it before. So maybe this film is just going to be a mix of everything we've already seen before. So we can pretty much guess what's going to happen. But, you know, it's a mixed baggage. Um, the Force Awakens looked good in the trailers. So did The Last Jedi. This isn't too much different. Um, it, it seems... Uh, interesting. I, I'm very intrigued by the Darth Ray thing. Um, and I don't mind it. I, I don't mind it at all. Um, because makes it interesting. And I remember people were saying like, oh, they wouldn't, they wouldn't do that to their precious Ray. They wouldn't make her evil. Well, I mean, it kind of seems like that. It kind of seems like that's where they're going. But, I don't know. I don't know where she went from, you know, attacking Ray uh, on the uh, on that ship on the in the ocean island uh, to to that. Maybe she is a clone. Maybe she is a twin. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But she definitely had a different. Darth Ray had a 
totally different look to her. I mean, just like look at that. Like, like she kind of, she almost kind of reminds me of, of like, yeah, she's like under some sort of hypnosis or something. So this is probably not like the same Ray that we're talking about. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, we're going to have to wait and see how this is. But uh, I know a lot of people uh, are not too happy about what happened in The Last Jedi. I know a lot of people did like The Last Jedi, and that's fine. That's fine. Um, I felt like I was burned in The Last Jedi. Like I, I didn't like it, but um, this one immediately seems a lot more promising. So, you know, as long as it's better than the last one, I consider that a success <laughs> at this point. But, um... Anyways, that is just my humble opinion. Uh, <laughs> let me know what you think of the comments section uh, down below. This And it actually is my birthday uh, upon uh, recording this video. So, uh, yeah, when I said, like, yeah, happy birthday to me, yeah, I was serious. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications of my proper compadres. By the way, if you want to support the channel, the link is in the description down below. Thank you all so much and have a great day.